Hey everybody, Brandon Villarolo here for Tech Republic, and today I want to show you how to share uh, files in Microsoft Teams. It's a pretty simple process, but there's a couple things that you might get hung up on or find uh, you know, you're getting error messages for and you don't know why. So I'm going to kind of help explain those a bit as well as sh show you how to actually uh, share them. So the process is pretty simple. Uh, for the sake of this demonstration, if you've seen my other video on adding cloud sharing services to, uh, or cloud storage services to Teams, you notice over here on the Files tab that I've got Google Drive connected. So we're going to, uh, I'm going to show you how to upload something from a connected Google Drive, but the same thing goes if you have files in OneDrive, uh, or even if you're just uploading from a local computer, uh, it all kind of works the same way. So go over to Teams, we're going to do it from there. And you see down at the bottom here the little paperclip icon, so pretty standard for Microsoft. If you mouse over that, you'll see Attach. Click on it, and you'll see some options here. You can upload from the computer, which will just open your standard you know, uh, uh, Explorer window, where you can choose a file, um, or you can choose to basically share something in another team or channel, OneDrive, Google Drive, or any other cloud service you have connected. So I'm going to click on Google Drive, and it'll bring up this view, which kind of duplicates uh, what was viewable in the files side. So I'm going to go over to test folder. I'm going to select this test doc for sharing. And now you get two options. You can upload a copy or share a link. Uh, sharing a link is probably the easiest way to do it for a cloud document like a, a GDoc or, or an, a Microsoft 365 document, which doesn't really have a, uh, you know, a local storage uh, analog version. Um, because if you try to upload a copy of a Google Doc, it won't work because the idea behind a Google Doc is that there's no copies. It has one file that lives in a location that is synchronized between users. So in the case of a, of a cloud storage service, your best bet is just to share a link to the document. So click on that, and it'll appear in line like a like a chat message. So you can you can type you know something in here too, so that people can. Uh, get a context for it, or just leave that blank and then hit return, and you'll see it'll pop in right here. And then other users can just click on it to open the file. Uh, if you want to upload a file, uh, same process. Um, you just need to find a file that is, you know, that has a, a local version like a JPEG file or, or, a, or a Microsoft Teams document, which I tried to do in another example over here in my test channel. And if you go back over to Files, you can see like this pages document here that I uploaded, and the JPEG appear in Teams as files that have been uploaded to your uh, your Microsoft Share Drive uh, that is associated with your with your team. So in this case, my BBM LLC team has a shared storage space uh, because it's a free uh, because it's a free account. It has a very fairly small storage space, but uh, you know you can still upload files to store in Microsoft's cloud, um, and they stay there, and you can open them from this location. Uh, you know, you can see separate lists for ones you've downloaded, and then of course you can view your cloud storage services here. So that's pretty much it. A uh, pretty simple process for sharing files in Microsoft Teams. You can also do this for connected apps like uh, OneNote or, sorry, Evernote or Adobe Creative Cloud. You can do the same thing there and share files in line that way as well. For Tech Republic, I'm Brandon Villarolo. Thanks for watching, and be sure to stay tuned for more tips and tricks just like this one.